Yo, what is up? It's Bicege D here. Back from another video. Today in this video, I'm finally going to be unboxing my new laptop that I was talking about in my previous video. And it was supposed to come in on the 20th, but it actually came in today on the 15th. So I'm not complaining that it came in early. I'm just honestly surprised because I guess, well, you guys saw the thumbnail and title, but this is a MacBook Pro 16 inch. So this is going to be my new laptop for editing all my videos. So this laptop I actually got for my graduation gift. Once again, shout out to everybody, class of 2020. I know this year has been not what we've expected, kind of ended abruptly, but we can't really do anything besides move on with life and just hope the best comes out of this. All right, so with that being said, let's go ahead and open this up. But before I do that, this model, I'm gonna tell you exactly which one I got, I have it on my computer. Okay, so I got a Space Gray 2.3 gigahertz eight core processor with a terabyte storage. So that's the more expensive one because I actually tried doing the other one and maxing that out actually came to be only like 30 more dollars so i decided to go with the other one because it had more features that i could do and it had a terabyte of storage as base because the other one i would have only done 512 gigabytes because i do plan on getting a hard drive so i went with the basic processor so 2.3 gigahertz eight core ninth generation see that was the thing with the other one it was an i7 for base so once you max it up to the i9, you might as well just go with the other one because it'll be cheaper. So I boosted it up to 32 gigabytes of memory. And for graphics, I put it at eight gigabytes. And once again, it's at a terabyte of storage because that's the least you can do. So that's what I went with. So now that we know what we're gonna be opening, let's go ahead and go for it. And I will say that Apple does a really good job of making their boxes incognito because obviously this laptop or anything from Apple is not cheap. So they always make sure that the box doesn't have any Apple stuff on it. So even on sides, you don't even know it's from Apple. Okay, so we're gonna slide this out. Oh, it looks like we had it upside down. So inside, they had some cardboard just to keep it from shaking around too much. All right, so let's flip it over. But so here is the MacBook. I just think Apple just does an amazing job on their packaging. It's just so satisfying to open. So with that being said, let's go ahead and peel this off. And of course we have Apple's famous slow opening box as it relieves all the pressure. So you can see very clean inside, just still amazed how they're able to just do these packagings very well. So right here we have the top of the Mac. So we're gonna use this plastic to pull it out. And right here we have the type C charging cable. And then inside we have the charging power bank right here which you do not want to break or lose these because these things are not cheap to replace. And then of course we'll have our MacBook instructions or user manual along with the famous Space Gray Apple stickers that it comes with. And of course I did buy Apple Care on it. So that was in like another $300, but for the price of this Mac, it's definitely worth it in case something bad happens to it. So we'll put this back on like that. As you can hear the air kind of compressing. And then now Let's get to the fun part. So here we have the laptop. You can see there's a little plastic protector over it right now. So right here, we're gonna flip it over and then just peel it off like that. Just so satisfying. I love opening up Apple products because they just make everything so enjoyable to where they just want you to buy more of their products. So obviously this is the 16 inch screen. So when we open it up, of course they have the screen protected with this paper right here. So slowly peel that off because once you get fingerprints on here once, that's it, it's over. So as you can see, the laptop's already starting to boot up. So we'll just wait for that. But as you can see, it's almost the entire screen just on the sides, there's little notches. Even though the screen is very high quality, it's not quite 4K. I actually looked it up, it is 3072 by 1920. So it's just under 4K, but honestly, you can even really tell a difference. So we're gonna go ahead and set this up, obviously with English. And right here, as you can see, we have the touch bar, which I'm really excited to use. And the cool thing with this is in Adobe Suites, like Premiere, Photoshop, all that stuff, you can actually use this to find your color that you want. So this is really gonna help me out when I'm editing or doing thumbnails. And I don't know how I feel about the trackpad. I'm not really a fan of using trackpads, but I do know that theirs is like completely different. So it's gonna take me a while to get used to. Don't know if I'm just gonna start using the mouse or continue using a mouse, or if I'm gonna try and use the trackpad, I'll probably switch over to a mouse. Not sure how I feel about the trackpad, but I will say the clicking on the trackpad does feel very, very satisfying. So we're not gonna transfer any information because I have all my stuff on my old laptop, which is actually my brother's laptop on a hard drive. So 
I'll just transfer it over by the hard drive. Go ahead and put in my name. I will say the keyboard also is very satisfying to click on. All right, so we got our password set up. So we're just creating an account. And I'm gonna assume that's gonna kick me over to iTunes here shortly. So all that stuff will be transferred over. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and set up our Touch ID. So right here, even says lift and rest your finger on Touch ID repeatedly. So we're gonna do our pointer finger, just like how we would with a iPhone, and then it's ready. So I'm gonna go dark mode, just to give it a cleaner look in my opinion. Also it saves battery. True tone display is on. So now it's just setting up the Mac. So here we go, here is our home page. So I'm curious, I'm gonna go ahead and check the storage. So it's already at 974.67 gigabytes of a terabyte. So all those preloaded stuff actually take up a little bit of storage. All right, so now what I think I'm gonna do is just kind of set up everything. And I'll just make a little time lapse as I try and figure everything out. All right, so the first thing I'm doing is going ahead and downloading my Adobe apps. So I actually have to log on to my old laptop just so I can go ahead and sign out from there because you can only be signed in on three different computers and we are already maxed out. So first we're gonna go ahead and download Premiere Pro. Obviously this is what I use to edit all of my videos. Also the first time I'm downloading on this Mac. So first application is my editing software. So double click to install. So I'm still not familiar with Macs because I actually use or I have always used Windows computers. But after doing research I saw that a Mac is like the best option as they last much longer than other Windows computers. All right, so it's installing Premiere right now. So now that we've got that, I'm actually going to put that down for a second. Now we're gonna go on the other laptop I've been using and we're gonna go ahead and go into the Adobe Creative Suites app and it will sign out. All right, so I actually got the fan to start running on this for the first time. So we are doing two major downloads right now, but it's handling pretty well and it's not loud at all but it looks like Premiere Pro is actually loaded up or downloaded and is ready to load up. So it looks like we have the Adobe Creative Cloud downloaded. So we have the fan running on hard right now. And now we'll be able to launch Premiere, open up a new project, actually cancel that, we don't have anything to open, and then we'll go ahead and install Photoshop. All right, so while we wait for Photoshop to download, I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is see if I can sync my Apple ID account so really cool with the touch bar. So right here you can do sign in. So even when you're typing stuff, just like on an iPhone, how right above the keyboard stuff will pop up for what they think you're gonna type, that also pops up. So pretty cool how they got that. All right, so we got a verification to my phone just to ensure that that's me actually signing in. I'll actually close out of that for now. And let's go to messages and see what happens. All right, here we go. So it's time with my Apple ID. Also go on FaceTime. So there we go. So quality on these things are still horrendous for how much you spend on these things. But we'll go ahead and put in my Apple ID for this, get everything set up. So we got Photoshop downloaded. Let's see, next one, we'll do After Effects. And might as well just start doing Illustrator too. Now I'm gonna download Google Chrome because I am not a fan of Safari. All right, so downloading Chrome right now. After Effects have been downloaded. Illustrator still installing. Let's go ahead and start doing InDesign. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and download the Elgato system, Elgato streaming for Mac. And I just wanna point out that I have not plugged in the Mac yet. It's actually at 83%. Didn't look at what it came out of the box, but right now it is at 83%. And that's with downloading all this stuff. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is take off my hard drive from here. So make sure it's properly ejected, which it is. All right, so I'm transferring some files over right now from my hard drive, just the important ones I need. So I think we're just gonna cut back to when everything is transferred over. All right, so it's actually the next day and I'm actually editing this video on a new Mac and I got everything loaded on here from my hard drive with the intro templates and all that stuff. And I gotta tell you, this thing is actually really good. I have been using trackpad, but I did switch over to the mouse just because it's easier for me because I'm still used to it. But I think the trackpad is actually pretty good for like when I don't have the mouse, if I'm just sitting on a couch or whatever, if I can edit. Because the battery life on this thing is actually pretty good. So overall, it's been working out really great. So if you guys want to see an update video on like a month after me using this, let me know in the comments below. 
All right, so hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you didn't, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, I want to thank you guys for 2,000 subscribers because we're pretty close right now. So by the time this video goes out, we should be at 2,000. So thank you guys for 2,000. I am looking forward to doing videos with this. I might not edit this video with this laptop yet unless I get it all set up quickly. But yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys shortly in the next video. Peace out. Bye.